At David Miller Architects, we found that using the MBS platforms has been really, really helpful because we, we typically have a quite a young team uh, and therefore one wouldn't say that we have specialist specification writers, for example. So the guidance, for example, within this built into the software and the platforms um, and all the kind of manufacturer's information that's already been authored really helps to make sure that we are um, specifying products which we know have already gone through an audit process. Uh, and that's great when you've got a young team and actually you're working on really complicated problems and projects at the same time. One, one such example where getting a third party in to help write the specification or the con core content of it, I can think of, for example, curtain walling. Um, I know in the past, when we've written specifications, we've had to sometimes interpret it, maybe an MBS building specification into an MBS create, and miss something very crucial uh, in some of the clauses. Uh, and things um, like the fire rating, for example, or fireproofing, um, and all the kind of details around a curtain walling system that we just simply wouldn't know about. So I can see that being a huge advantage where we're getting them in to kind of write the details and as the architect and the designer, we can then fill in things like the finish, the color, appearance elements of it, uh, as opposed to the much more fundamental performance requirements. Getting the manufacturer to come and help write the specification, uh, I think it should ensure that we're de-risking the project, uh, both for uh, us as architects, but hopefully also maintaining quality as we go through the um, tendering process and potentially um, so some of the products being exchanged. So again, coming back to that golden thread where making sure that our specification is watertight so that if there is a need to change the product, it's uh, changed to something which actually is equal uh, and that's something, if you miss something in the specification, that's not used as a way to um, substitute to an alternative, less performing product. So to reduce the risk of um, bad uh, products being either substituted during, say, tendering process and getting the supplier in to contribute to the specification in the key clauses at tender stage uh, for us as designers, I think it's going to be crucial. Um, and we will then obviously look at more of the performance elements or the, sorry, the, the, the kind of aesthetic elements.